What's going on pranksters? Welcome to another Halloween video. And right now I'm gonna show you guys 13 Halloween pranks and booby traps that you can set up on friends and family at home during October. These are very easy and fun to set up and you'll have a great time pulling them off. So if you like these type of videos, remember to hit that like button so I know that I should be making more of these videos. Remember that you can find more Halloween videos at my channel including videos where I show you guys how to get more Halloween candy when you go trick or treating. Alright then pranksters, let's get to pranking. The following are a bunch of bloody pranks and this first one you guys can pull off at school but I highly recommend that you prepare it at home. Begin by opening up a glue bottle, preferably we want a bottle that is full of glue. To protect the glue inside we are gonna lay a piece of plastic wrap over the top and push it in with your finger. That's where we are gonna add our fake blood. So do that till you have exceeded capacity. At which point all you do now is screw the cap back on and with the blade cut off the excess plastic that sticks out. Here is what will happen next time somebody wants to use this glue bottle. Without a care in the world, they will attempt to apply some glue onto their project but instead they'll have blood all over the place. To undo this, simply just remove the plastic from the inside and the bottle will be unharmed. Here's another bloody prank that is sure to catch someone off guard at school. Take a crayon box and flip it upside down and undo the flaps. Once you have it opened, remove enough crayons to make room for a glue stick. This glue stick will do just fine. Inside I've added a little bit of water and all we do now is fill the rest with fake blood. Put it inside the crayon box and close up the flaps. And now this prank is set. Just leave it standing upside down. Whoever comes over and wants to use these crayons will naturally just flip it over and it will cause this to happen. It's a mess that will get all over the place. Take a fake zombie hand and cut open a hole on it as we are gonna fill it with fake blood. Make sure though that the only opening on the hand is the one that you made. Once you have enough blood in there, rest the hand between the door of the cabinet and a wall. When someone sees that it's opened, they will try to close it but this is what will happen. They definitely didn't see this coming and now they have a bunch of fake blood to clean up. Now we're gonna give our friends and family members a little scare. This prank you guys can set up right before they're about to start carving out their jack-o'-lanterns. For this you will need a pumpkin of course, some fake blood and a plastic syringe or large dropper. Begin by poking a hole on the bottom of the pumpkin. I used a screwdriver for that. Next extract some fake blood into the syringe like so. You can actually add as much blood as you want in there. The more the better of course, it will give it that spooky feel for Halloween. Once you're done filling up the pumpkin with fake blood, seal it up with anything you want. I myself am using a small rod for that. It pretty much works as a plug. See it fits in perfectly. It's not noticeable at all. Well pranksters, this is what will happen when your victims begin to carve out the pumpkin. They'll be in for another bloody surprise. Getting fake spider web is very easy these days. They pretty much sell this stuff at any store during the Halloween season so get yourself a bag and find a good spot to put it. I myself think that a cabinet is a really great place to do so. So with tape start to do just that. You can even hang fake bugs on it so it's even more creepy. This is sure to get someone really good when they open the cabinet door. Here's another good example where you can do this. The inside of a car. This might actually frustrate them as they have to remove the web in order to get in. Now if you want to creep someone out with a fake spider, try one of these pranks out. Both of these will be set up at the sink. For this one you will need a strainer which is something that most kitchen sinks have. Using a string attach the spider onto the bottom of the strainer and then with tape block off the holes so no water can get through. Put the strainer back where it goes with the spider underneath. It will completely cover the spider and when someone uses the sink they will notice that it will start to clog up due to the tape that we put on there so they will pull out the strainer and that's when the unexpected spider will get them really good. If you don't have a strainer at home you guys can also use a plunger. Pretty much do the same thing. Attach the spider to the bottom of the plunger. In this case I use tape for this. Position the spider inside the plunger and that's it. When one of your family members comes into the bathroom and sees the plunger there, it will seem out of place to them so they will try to put it back underneath the sink and again the spider will work its magic. 
they will think that it's a real spider trying to crawl up the sink. Here's a classic Halloween prank that you guys can do over and over again. You will need a fake plastic hand and you must be wearing long sleeves. Basically all you do is tuck the fake hand inside your sleeve and try to shake people's hand. This prank never fails. Doesn't get much easier than this guys. Here I have some Tootsie Rolls which are pretty common to get during Halloween. So here's how you're gonna set up a prank with a Tootsie Roll. Open one up by unrolling it and also open up a Slim Jim. Cut it to the size of the Tootsie Roll and if you notice they look pretty similar in color so all you do now is replace the Tootsie Roll with the piece of Slim Jim. Wrap it up and that's it. Put it in your victim's treat basket and whoever gets this Tootsie Roll will be in for a surprise especially if they don't like beef jerky. Guys, if you ever see one of your siblings eating their candy right away as soon as they return from trick or treating, this prank is for them. In this example, they opened up a fun dip. And the fun dip consists of two things, the sucker and the powder which is typically flavored. Now what you can do is basically when they leave their fun dip unattended, just swap out the powder with some sugarless Kool-Aid. Just so you guys know, Kool-Aid tastes disgusting if it's not mixed with water and sugar. So make sure that you have your phone handy as they will for sure make a funny face that you will definitely want to take a picture of. Fake bugs are always great to have handy during Halloween because you can freak out people with them. For example here, I'm going to put a lot of fake bugs on top of the fan blades. You might need a chair to reach up there. But once the bugs are in position, they won't be visible so whoever turns on this fan will have all kinds of bugs flying at them. This never fails. The fan that we just used for this last prank also has a light bulb with a bowl underneath. So if you have something similar at home, you guys can try out this next prank on small kids. Simply take a piece of construction paper and make a hand shaped cutout. The creepier looking the better of course, all you do now is take the hand and place it inside the bowl below the light. Any kid that sees this will be spooked silly as soon as they flick on that light. Some of you might have already seen a candy bottle that looks like this. Well again, we are gonna be messing with some Mexican candy. As a kid I remember always getting at least one of these when I went out to trick or treat. The contents of this bottle is a spicy but sweet liquid candy. Here is how you guys can mess with somebody that gets one of these bottles. Take their bottle from the treat basket and remove the pointy nozzle. Place a piece of plastic over it and on top add a little bit of mustard on it. Put the nozzle back and lastly trim off the excess plastic that sticks out. When your victim goes in for a taste of their candy, they will instead get some mustard in their mouth. Don't worry though, they can easily undo this by removing the plastic inside and rinsing off the nozzle. This container of bubble tape is also perfect to set up our next prank. Be sneaky about this but if you get a hold of your friend's bubble tape, remove the roll from inside, now you can fill it up with some rice. You can add rice on both sides. Just place a piece of paper over it to hold the rice while you join both sides together. This is what will happen when your friend opens up their container of bubble tape. They'll have rice all over the place. There you guys have it. 13 Halloween pranks and booby traps that you guys can set up on friends and family during the month of October. Again guys, if you like this type of content, make sure you let me know by smashing that like button. I really appreciate all the support guys. Have an amazing Halloween and I'll see you pranksters in my next video.